Hey y'all, Bill the How To Guy here. Feel free to subscribe at youtube.com forward slash Bill the How To Guy because Bill will show you how to. Hey y'all, Bill the How To Guy here. Now if you've got a large home, uh, maybe you've got a small home but you've got really thick walls, you may have the need for multiple wireless routers in your house. Now there's a trick to configuring this and in the scenario that I'm in, I've got a, a two-story home and upstairs I've got the primary wireless router so it's plugged into the uh, to the DSL modem and that could be a DSL modem, cable modem, whatever, that doesn't matter. That's just where your internet comes in. So that's the uh, that's the primary wireless router in my home network configuration. So it's got the DSL modem plugged into the WAN port, not to be confused with LAN. The primary is plugged into the WAN. So all of that's working. I confirm that my primary wireless router is working. Good to go from that perspective. Now, if you want to add a secondary wireless router to your network, it's a little bit different, but it's easy. The first step, obviously, make sure that your primary wireless router is working. You can get to the internet and all of that. Assuming that you can, what you'll then want to do is run a Cat5 patch cable from one of the LAN ports on your primary wireless router to wherever in your house that the uh, secondary wireless router is going to reside. And then plug the other end of that patch cable. So in the primary router, it's in the LAN port. And on the secondary router, it's also going to go into the LAN port. Because your secondary router, and not to get overly technical, but your secondary router is going to use that primary router as the source for the internet connection, also the, the source of assigning uh, IP addresses by way of DHCP, dynamic IPs, to every computer, uh, desktop computer, laptop, iPhone, etc., that utilizes that secondary wireless access point as its internet connection. So, a few things you'll need to do on that secondary wireless uh, router to make sure it works right is A, you'll need to go into the configuration menu. Now most all of these wireless routers, even the cheap ones, they have a web-based configuration tool. So you just, you open the instruction manual, the online documentation or whatever, and it'll give you that default IP address and password. You're going to want to log in to that secondary router, and you're going to want to find what's called DHCP, or dynamic IP addresses, and there should be a setting to disable that. So you want to disable that in your secondary router because you don't want your secondary router to try to assign IP addresses and potentially conflict with IP addresses that, are, that have already been assigned by the primary router. So you disable DHCP and also you're going to want to make sure there's something called a subnet or it may be referred to as net mask. It's a series of numbers, probably something like a 255.255.255.0 or something similar. You're going to want to make sure that on your secondary router that the subnet is the same as the primary router because if they're not on the same subnet, they're not going to talk. And also what you're going to want to make sure is that the IP address for your secondary router is not the same IP as your primary router and is not the same IP of any other devices already on your network, so laptops, iPads, etc. Because you can't have more than one device on the same network with the same IP. And if it, if it was an IP that was already in use, normally these routers would come with like a 192.168.1.1 or maybe a 192.168.1.254. It'll tell you in the documentation, but it'll be easy to change if you have to. You can just do that through the web interface. And it's pretty easy to set up and it should definitely expand rather your wireless coverage in or near your home. So feel free to share this video with others and I welcome any uh, comments or questions that you may have. If you haven't subscribed already, uh, please do so. It's youtube.com forward slash build a how to guy. Y'all have a good day.